Hello everyone, welcome back. It's your favourite duo since Ant and Deck, or Bonnie and Clyde, or Little and Large, or just Rio and Alexa really. Today we're going to talk about sensitive skin. Yeah. This is something that I've not suffered from in years, mm -hmm. but age 36 suddenly I developed this moment where I was putting stuff on and my skin was like very angry about it. Yeah. So I've recently become interested in products which are very gentle. Mm. I mean, I think it can be intimidating, but becoming familiar with ingredient lists is really important if you have sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. In terms of ingredients though, what should I be looking out for that might be triggering for skin? Yeah, so fragrance is really bad, essential oils are really bad, and making sure that you're not um, being too abrasive, like over exfoliating and things like that, which is something I see people do all the time. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see in the skincare game. What are these fun things that are like glow sticks from new rave times? Yeah, so these are my raver globes and you chuck them in the freezer and I like these for uh, many reasons. First of all, they're fun. First of all, they're iconic. Yeah. Second of all, they're amazing for its zits. Oh. Um, but truly any kind of redness or inflammation or irritation, kind of when in doubt, I reach for these. Okay. Because they're not a, a like chemical formula. So... Can I touch one? Yeah, please. It looks like a smurf. We'll wait and... Well, we should wash our faces first okay. to put it on clean skin. So this is a really, really gentle cleanser from Miss Dr. Loretta, mm -hmm. who we've talked a little bit about. My favorite medical doctor. Correct. <laughs> Um, and what I love about this cleanser is that it was formulated specifically for post-procedure skin. So if you were to get a really intense laser treatment mm -hmm. and your skin was raw, you could use this and it would be okay, okay. which is basically my skin every day. <laughs> Great, good to know. Um, so for any sensitive skin people, I really recommend this. So I wet my, my face first okay. for this cleanser. Gonna put and it has out. chamomile and marine peptides and just really soothing, gentle things for okay. your skin. Great. So, classic little bit of washing. Oh, Rio, your water's so cold. I know. Is this part of the vibe? Well, it's good for the skin. Okay. Yeah. Still going? Okay. Oh, wait. We didn't even wash. Okay. Here. And it has like a nice gelatinous texture, mm. but it's kind of like a watery gel. I love it. Mm. This is one of my favorite cleansers of all time. If I don't have one of these in my medicine cabinet, I freak out. What am I doing? Am I buying this online? Yeah, these are all available online. Okay. I think they sell on um, Derm Store? Yeah. Oh, it feels so nice. I know, it's lovely. And again, just like so non-stripping, which mm -hmm. is so important for me. I hate when I wash my face and I take it off, my skin is like <gasps> yeah, dying. Yeah. And I never get that with this. Oh, I'm a beauty convert now. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> Horrible. Well, you're mean to me. Mm. I hope you're not making salads in these bowls later. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I probably will do. Yeah, soapy salad. That's my damn name. Wow, that'll put some hairs in your chest. Okay, we're feeling good, right? Yeah. I'm using your stunning towel. Oh my God, don't show the towel. <laughs> okay, Ooh. listen. So I use these at-home toning products and they destroy all of my towels. Okay. So if they look a little gross, be nice to me. Where no, they look home? nice. Okay, guys. They look nice. Cool. So how does your skin feel, would you say? Nice, like clean, it has clarity, mm -hmm. but it's not arid. Yeah. So on to our fun ones. So these, typically I use two of them and tackle them at a time, but this we have one for you each. You have to share. I love them for under my eyes, oh. any kind of puffiness. I mean, when you're hungover, this is an absolute dream. Oh, yeah. But also if you just wake up and you have any kind of irritation, yeah, it's really nice to just run it over with these little cryo balls and zits. Mega for zits because I have a picking problem. I don't know about you. If I see something on my face, I full frontal attack it. I perform surgery in my yeah. bathroom. 
So having this as a way to kind of keep my hands off of it. So it calms it down. Yeah, exactly. It, t it knocks off any inflammation and redness. Yeah. And so my spots are really chronic because they uh, they don't appear whatsoever. And then three times a year, I get a, a volcanic mm. boil, essentially. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's the pits. And it's in the same spot every time. You can see because I've scarred myself from popping it. Yeah. Like last year, I had it kind I'm of six times. Too. Yeah, it sucks. But, you know, it happens to the best of us. This is very soothing. So this is like a great way to kind of prep your skin for any of your skincare. As I said before, exfoliating is typically people's biggest mistake when mm -hmm. they have sensitive skin. Um, because if you have any dryness or patchiness, you'll think to yourself, oh, I want to buff that Remove away, it, right? Yeah. But the problem is you're just irritating the skin even further and creating more roughness, more dryness, more redness. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this, again, is that it's only 1%. So it's very, very low level exfoliation. And anything that's getting stripped away is getting put, like any kind of moisture is getting put right back into your skin with right. all of the wonderful hydrating ingredients. The other day, and I've still got it a bit there, I had like this very dry patch of skin here, which I think was an allergy to a mascara. Mm. And I put on skin food okay. on there and it like took it away. Skin food is amazing. The problem with skin food for me personally is that it can make me break out. Because it's so oily. Because it's so heavy. But as kind of like a isolated treatment, yeah. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. But for me personally, I know a lot of people recommend it as a moisturizer. It didn't really work as a moisturizer for me, but I think it's fabulous. But yeah, in that patch, it was like... Yeah, exactly. Just like a little kiss in, mm -hmm. a, in a treatment area. This is um, definitely great for sensitive skin Am I people. patting? Patting. Yeah, I remember. This is very TikTok, this movement. It is. We can make up a dance. As someone that's so incredibly jaded, I feel like it takes a lot to get me excited about a product. Yeah. Uh, but I tried this moisturizer quite recently, maybe like a month ago. No offense, but terrible packaging. I know. The reason why I picked it up is because I looked at the ingredient list and there was a lot of things I like in it. A lot of antioxidants, which mm -hmm. is great for protecting your skin against like environmental stressors. Um, it has galactomyces in it, which is brightening and moisturizing and My great for the dinosaur. skin. And then also mushroom, which is really high in antioxidants. Mm. Also chamomile, a lot of really, really wonderful, just like calming, soothing ingredients. And when I went to check this out, the woman at the store was like, oh, my boyfriend gets the worst shaving rashes, mm -hmm. and this is the only thing that helped his skin Amazing. from being super red. Was that an organic shop? or This was a K-beauty store. Okay. So I did have to do like a little bit of research, like translation research to figure out what was in this, yeah. but my skin has been absolutely loving this. Again, like I love that it's nice and like moisturizing on the skin, but it's not rich. Okay, great. Um, which is always a goal for me, so. Oh yeah. Right? I like the consistency. Like. So now I know that it's packaged for five year olds because it's meant to like indicate that you could use it on a baby and it would be fine. That's exactly right. Okay. And it has all of these little forest animals to show that it's natural. Well, I feel like, like mushrooms. you're too young for this, but I used to love Animals of Farthing Wood, which was a television show on in the early nineties in England. Mm. Like real talk, I fancied the fox. So. Whoa. Having crushes on cartoon characters is so real, it's so formative. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever watch Sailor Moon? No. Well, anyone who's watching who did, Tuxedo Mask really taught me a lot about myself. That's a hot person? Yeah. I mean, a hot cartoon? Yeah. Great. He was Sailor Moon's boo. Sensitive skin, sunscreen is an absolute must. It's an absolute must for everyone every day, period. Right. Um, do you wear sunscreen every day? I do if it's accidentally built into the moisturizer that I'm using at Got the time. It. And then I'm really proud of myself and then I forget next time I'm buying something. Right. I mean, that's better than nothing for sure. Yeah. With those kinds of products, I always say layering is better. Mm -hmm. So like a moisturizer with an SPF on top of an SPF with a foundation with a little bit of SPF is great. Okay. Um, but the built-in ones, sometimes I feel like you don't use as much as you would a regular sunscreen. It's wild to me that we've gone through one generation of like f putting oil in a foil on your face to catch the sun in the 60s I know. to the next like couple of generations ahead suddenly like everyone's going to look stunning forever because we figured out SPF yeah and just staying out of the sun yeah i mean it really is one of the leading causes of 
premature aging. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the sun is an environmental stressor. So if you're sensitive, it can really, really aggravate your skin. Right. Um, so of course, like staying out of the sh in, out of this direct sunlight as much as possible is important. But sunscreen is a must. Another thing that's happened as I've aged and have like hormonal imbalances, blah blah, is I get the moustache. Yeah. In, yeah. The, in the sun. So that I happens can't to really, me too. I can't really tan my face anymore. Totally. Yeah. And I think for melasma, again, just like layering as much SPF is so important because mm -hmm. it's treating, but it's also preventing. Yeah. This one is from Perito. This is a K Beauty sunscreen. Mm -hmm. I love it because it has Centella Asiatica in it, which is a plant based ingredient that's really, really calming. Um, so even if you have like a little bit of spots, I've noticed that with this sunscreen, it kind of knocks the inflammation down, gives a lot of moisture, gives a lot of hydration. Um, I've actually used this as a moisturizer because it's so yeah. nice on the skin. Why is Korea the ones that figured it? Well, like why did Korea become the beauty kind of capital of the world? You know, I talk a lot about this because I think it's so interesting. It has been Skincare has been a part of their lifestyle for so much longer right. than um, in the States. On top of that, um, you know, there's a lot of pollution in Korea. Yeah. And people for ages have been wanting to combat that. Right. Um, so they've just taken the time to research it more than any other country. Yeah, and do you know what it is? The baseline skin type in Korea is sensitive. Okay. Um, so unlike the States, where our, reg our baseline skin types are normal, normal. oily, dry, right. like, they take sensitivity into account way more than we do in the States, yeah. which I think is really cool. And it's why so many of their products are so effective, but also incredibly gentle. Yeah. Um, this feels stunning. Yeah. Oh. So that's that. That Quick, is that. easy, everything's safe, and your skin's gonna be looking gorge. Thank you so much, Rio. But I would like to let everyone know that you're working currently on a book. I am, yes. It's coming out this time next year. So that's something to look forward so to. So stay tuned. So if you've been enjoying Rio's handy tip, then don't worry, she's about to put it into a tome that you can all read. Correct. Um, and that's us signing off. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click to subscribe, ring the bell, uh, leave your comments, which we love, and we'll see you next time. And brush your eyebrows up. And brush your eyebrows up. Bye. Bye.